Hello, welcome back to Meta Perfume. I'm Emily again here with Trixie. <laughs> and I'm gonna finish up my white tea series with the last flanker I haven't reviewed yet, which is the white tea vanilla orchid. And this was in a sampler set of three. The first um, set that I got was the original, the white tea wild rose and then this white tea vanilla orchid and this was my second favorite <laughs> next to the original white tea um, until I got the white tea ginger lily and then that was kind of more appealing to me scent wise but the longevity was a little worse uh, so in terms of scent this is like my third favorite <laughs> I like it a little better than the white or the wild rose and definitely better than the mandarin Mandarin Blossom Flanker, but this is Vanilla Orchid, and so it's a little, it's definitely different than the white tea, but you can kind of still get the white tea underneath it. It is pretty unique. It's um, most heavy in vanilla. The top notes are uh, quince, bergamot, alemi, and lemon, and I don't get a lot of the top. I think that the middle and the base sort of overshadow the top. Um, the middle is vanilla orchid, white tea, gardenia, and jasmine. And then in the base, we have vanilla, musk, amberwood, orris, and ambrette, uh, which is also known as musk mallow. So the vanilla is the most prominent note, and then um, the vanilla orchid. And I I enjoy this fragrance. I think it's it's interesting. It's different. It's a little bit like a calm, warmer, slightly warmer version of the white tea. Uh, it's good for daytime or springtime, maybe summer. Probably not heavy enough for winter. Um, I'd say that the longevity is moderate to low. Um, it's not abysmal like <laughs> the ginger lily. It's going to last probably about four hours um, before you have to reapply four or five. Some people think that's really bad. I think it's moderate. <laughs> but then, you know, again, you get kind of what you pay for and they're not expensive. These fragrances are, even the full bottle is usually less than $40 on FragranceNet or a discount website. So, um, yeah, it starts out, definitely kind of get the vanilla, but it's a complex fragrance or a lot of notes. So it's not like you are overwhelmed with vanilla. It's definitely kind of a, a different take on vanilla tea fragrance. So I've had this fragrance for quite a while now in this small size and I've used it about this much. So it's definitely not a fragrance I reach for a lot, um, but I wouldn't say it's a bad fragrance either. Um, I think it's okay. You know, it's like so-so. Mm, it's not a bad smell. It's not a great smell. It's not terrible longevity. It's not awesome longevity. It's just kind of okay. And I think in terms of a flanker for a really good fragrance, you know, I guess it depends on how much you like vanilla things. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am either usually ambivalent about vanilla, like it can go either way, or I just don't even notice it. Um, so I'm a little surprised sometimes when I really like a vanilla fragrance and it's not, you know, I don't, I'll smell something and be like, oh, that's really good. And then I find out it has vanilla in it and I'm like, what? <laughs> or like, that's the, the main component. Anyway, so... Yeah, that is my take on the white tea vanilla orchid and that I'm going to do the full range of all of the white teas and um, continue with my Elizabeth Arden series. So thank you for joining and please give it a subscription or like or comment um, if you're feeling it and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye bye.